welcome to my channel i am tired of my hair right and it's about time i installed some sort of protective style in my hair so i'm going to be doing marley twist and i'll be using five packs of the cuban twist hair from the brand equal i love this brand of marley hair because it's just so thick and you actually get the worth of what you paid for. I'm going to be starting off on my hair pre-parted and sectioned. I didn't blow out my hair. All I did was comb out the twist. And I'm going to moisturize my hair with the utmost hydration coil milk from Enricher because it's just so thick and the moisture lasts for very long and I think it's very ideal for protective styling. I'm going to part each section some more just to allow the uh, parts to be a little bit smaller. And here am I displaying how I grab the hair to attach it to my roots i don't know how to explain it but i hope you saw what i did i start off with the braid for two reasons to secure the roots of my twist so it doesn't like unravel and also because <laughs> i don't know how to <laughs> start a twist from the roots i know still look good but I, I just don't know how to my my fingers cannot comprehend the motion anyways i'm gonna break down uh, I, I said i'm gonna break down see my life I'm going to braid down about like five times before I start twisting and you know when to twist when it feels natural like that direction will be set. I feel like after braiding down five times, you want a seamless flow from the braid to the twist. You don't even want it to be obvious that you are starting to twist. Sure you get. I do not make my roots severely tight or like obsessively like neat because I do want it to, I do want it to look like my hair. I want it to look like I want to go get my locks retwisted and you know maybe they're just waiting to look good. I don't want it to be overly tight and overly um, neat. I personally or if you know anything about me on this channel, I don't really care for neat protective styles. I kind of love the rough look, the rough marley twist, the rough locks like I just want it to look like it is my hair. I want people to be like, oh my gosh, is that your hair? Did it grow overnight? And I'll say, yes, yes, yes. The Lord sprinkled yeast on my scalp and you know, I grew this locks or I grew this twist suddenly. I do not want it to look like I got my hair done. I want it to be like, oh my gosh, your hair grew overnight. And I'll be like, yes, all the glory goes back to God. You know, it sprinkled yeast in my, and the hair just started swelling up. I am finally done with installing the twist and now it is time to massage my scalp and I'll be using the untamed growth oil from Enricher. I am very tender headed and I feel like after I get a protective style it is mandatory for me to massage my scalp with oil because my scalp be feeling like you just slapped me like you just knocked me on the head. So I like to go in with my air growth oil to massage my scalp to soothe my scalp and it also contains like peppermint oil, tea tree oil, all those minty fresh stuff that will allow my scalp to just you know breathe. It honestly sucks when you're tender headed and you're the one that do your hair because now you are inflicting pain on yourself and you're not even able to blame somebody for yourself. Usually when I used to allow people to do my hair, I'd be like, ah, this girl did my hair too tight, blah, blah, blah. But now this girl is me. So how do I blame myself for putting myself in pain? I genuinely try to avoid being in pain. I don't even braid my roots tightly because of this reason, but I guess it's what comes with beauty. As they always say, beauty is painful. And the results are always worth it. Just just look at how nice my hair is. You can see how neat the twists are. You can see that how shiny it is, how full it looks. I know it's not just me that experienced this. Every time I get my hair done, like when it's fresh, my skin be looking like glazed donuts. That is, it, it be looking as if where they sprayed oil on even that glazedness of the donut. Just look at how I'm shiny. Look at skin is giving. I'm going to apply mousse to my hair just to tame away the flyaways, just to allow my hair to look slightly neater and also to give my hair moisture to um, also protect my hair. I specifically apply it to my scalp because it does this thing where, I don't know, it just does that thing of making my hair look shiny, moisturized and just glossy yeah it adds this gloss to my hair and that is something i really like whenever i get my protective styles done i'm all done with my hair now fine girls about to unlock bad days about to begin and the crazy part is i did this in three hours i started at 3 30 and i looked at the time it was 6 30 or so this is the perfect vacation hairstyle not only is it very fast it is also very lightweight like you i don't feel anything on my neck i don't feel the weight of this hair at all i recorded this immediately i was done like i put on the makeup and everything and look at how like flowy it is look at how nice it still is look at how soft it seems you can also reuse this hair y'all 
you can reuse this hair for your next cuban twist for your next marley twist at least that is what i do it is called being resourceful that is the end of today's video thank you so much for tuning in do not forget to like comment and subscribe and also share this video so that somebody that may need it will find me thank you again and have a lovely week